tonight is a night after that cold storm came to Texas. So I'm actually planning to take a picture of one of my favorite objects, which is called Pleiades. They also call them Seven Sisters. Maybe Pleiades is the reason why I got into the astronomy this big. So back in my old house, when I was looking up, there is this group of stars. They look like there is something else there. I keep looking at it and say, hey, something is there. I know that there are many stars there. What is it, right? I learned it is Pleiades and I actually want to see it. So one of the reason, maybe, I'm guessing, I bought a telescope is to see those stars close by and experience that whatever the experience I got from looking at them, I think I got into astronomy big. The other thing I always think about is like we are the only living organisms or creatures or whatever you call them that can be conscious, right? We can talk, we can, we have a language, we can see, we understand. And we are the only ones that can look into the sky and look at the stars. We are the only ones that traveled outside this planet. So we may have a purpose why we are here. So staying on this planet, which is like so tiny, and then looking around so many galaxies, millions and millions of them, and all these structures, and ignoring them, or not learning them, or not looking at them, it doesn't feel right. Like, so I, we really need to do our homework. We need to really make sure we understand it better. Maybe that's another reason why I got into the astronomy as well. So this Pleiades, as I learned more, like back in 1600s, when he looked at these group of stars, uh, there was no camera to take a picture, so he actually drew a sketch. Like here is the, you know, six stars or whatever that he could he was able to see, like ninety plus stars. I believe he was able to count there and documented those stars. I was surprised and shocked, like that these stars and these star clusters even though they are formed at the same time maybe our galaxy was formed, uh, they have a gravitational pull uh, among them. So sometimes one of those stars actually go away from that star cluster and maybe as time passes by, the entire star cluster, like Pleiades, maybe in another 250 million years, might go away. Maybe our galaxy arms is going to make it disperse. So Pleiades may end up like disappearing after 250 million years. Uh, but the point is uh, when they are there looking at them, it's an amazing experience. They have those blue uh, color to them. Uh, they're very natural blue color. And when we actually start looking closer and closer to them in the recent uh, uh, discoveries from NASA, we started seeing its tiny planets as well nearby. So it's an amazing experience to watch those. I'll try to take a picture of those Pleiades and I'll show you guys. So survived the Texas storm and trying to get back to business. It's very cold. It's like close to like 20 degrees right now. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for uh, all the new subscribers. Thank you.